I mean, they obviously own the number one brand in the world in Marlborough. Yep. Um, one of our theories, I think it's a fact actually, on the tobacco industry is the tobacco industry um, is an illustration of the, uh, of the reverse of that great Ronald Reaganism who said the nine most dangerous words in the English language are, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. Uh, the tobacco industry is an illustration that the best business you could be in is one that the government attempts to stop. Because if you do a chart of the tobacco industry over many decades, you'll find it wasn't a particularly strong performer until the government tried to stop it. Um, and then the government got involved by um, uh, PAC warnings and then the Surgeon General's PAC warnings, then litigation by the states, then litigation that was on a federal level, then bans on advertising and marketing and now bans on packaging and so on. This has led to two things which have been hugely beneficial to their financial status, their operations, their returns, their profits, their cash flows, and to us as shareholders. And those are one, these are industries which have got fabulous returns on capital. Um, you know, they're, in the end, they're basically selling an addictive product. Right? Um, they'll never face a new competitor. If you go into your boardroom and say, I've got a really good idea, so the economics in tobacco are good, I think we should get in the industry, it will be a very short conversation. Right? Mm -hmm. Nobody's ever going to enter the industry. And normally, the way in which super returns are, ca are competed away is by people entering the business. Yes. It can't happen. Plus, so they've got this wonderful business with these fabulous returns and this number one brand, and they can't spend any money on advertising, marketing, or now packaging. Fantastic. What's not to like? Yep. And then the final frontier, I mean, of course, if you think you've got this brilliant brand down there and you're going to compete with Marlborough, how do you do it? You can't advertise. No. Um, and, 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 no. and also with plain packaging, apart from the fact that all the statistics show it hasn't caused an iota of downturn in actual smoking, if you go into a shop and, uh, and there's no display of anything other than green packs with horrible photographs on them and you want something to smoke, you say something like, have you got any more, bro? Because yes. <laughs> you can't see what it is. Yep. It's all, and so, I mean, the government's intervention is, I mean, uh, we are very, very inclined to invest in things that the government thinks is a bad idea and they'll try and stop. Right, More thank people you for go that. Back trying to do uh, good things.